Welcome to Abimet Environmental Technologies, Pakistan. Today we'll be looking at how an extended aeration system works. The first stage is the equalization tank. The wastewater collects in the equalization tank which homogenizes it so that at the influent there is always a constant pH, temperature and waste loading. Then comes the grit and grease chamber. Heavy solid waste and very light particles along with oil and grease are stopped in the grit and grease chamber. It separates the solid from the liquid. Then comes the dissolved air flotation unit, also known as DAF unit. The coagulation and flocculation tanks have mixtures in them, which dose and mix chemicals through feeder pumps like polymers and alums in the wastewater. In the first tank, coagulation occurs which increases alkalinity of water, therefore we neutralize it in the second tank. Then we proceed to the third tank where flocculation occurs. Primary sedimentation tank, also known as primary clarifier, settles the flocks while lighter particles are skimmed off by rotating skimmer from the top of the clarifier. In the aeration tank, it begins the secondary wastewater treatment or the biological treatment. Here, large colonies of bacteria consume all the organic pollutants present in the water with the help of oxygen and the organic flocks are created. This is taken to the final sedimentation tank to separate water from flocks. A hopper style sedimentation tank is made to decrease the settling time. The settled sludge is piped out from the bottom and taken for further processing in sludge dewatering machines giving forth clean water. Abamet Environmental Technologies, Pakistan. Sustainable solutions for a cleaner, greener earth.